Are you really thinking of starting a solo podcast in 2024? Let's all find out if the hustle is truly worth it. Welcome back, I'm Gordon Camp, and today we're talking about starting a solo podcast in 2024. Yes, it can be an exciting but daunting task. And on one hand, you've got the freedom to share your ideas and the passions with the world, but on the other hand, you're faced with the challenge of standing out in a crowded podcast landscape and building an audience from scratch. With millions of podcasts out there in the ether on YouTube, it's easy to feel like a small fish in a big pond. So how do you make your voice heard? How do you get people to care about what you've got to say? Well, it's a question that many of us struggle with, and it can be a challenge that is overwhelming at times. One of the biggest hurdles that solo podcasters face is building an audience from scratch. And it is not like you have a built-in audience waiting for you. You have to create one from the ground up. And that's one of the things that really scared me this year. It takes time. It takes effort and persistence. It is not something that happens overnight. And it's really easy to get discouraged when you're not seeing the results that you want. So having patience in that whole process is really key. But despite the challenges that many solo podcasters like myself have managed to break through and build a loyal following, and that's what makes it all worth it. Seeing people that you connect with, see your content and hear how it's made a difference in their lives. Finding a niche is really crucial to stand out in the podcasting world. Because we can't just talk about generic topics and expect to attract large audiences. You need to find something that sets you apart. Something that resonates with people on a much deeper level. Once you've found your niche, you need to then create high quality content that actually speaks to it. High quality content is key to building an audience. And if your content is subpar or mediocre, people will not stick around. They'll tune out and go and find someone else who is doing it better. So you need to focus on creating content that's engaging, informative, and entertaining. You need to find a way to make people care about what you have to say. Promoting your podcast is also really crucial to get it out there. You cannot just create great content and expect people to go and find it on their own. You need to put in the work to promote it. And it is a lot of work, whether it's through social media, collaborations, or advertising. One of my favorite success stories is that of um, John Lee Dumas, who started his podcast Entrepreneur on Fire back in, I think it was 2012, 2013 time. He was a solo podcaster who built an audience from scratch. And today he's actually one of the most successful podcasters out there. His story is a real testament to the power of hard work and dedication. Another great example is Jenna Kutcher, a photographer and entrepreneur who started her podcast, Gold Digger, a few years ago. She actually built an audience of thousands of entrepreneurs and creatives, and her podcast has actually become one of the top-rated podcasts in the business category. So these success stories are really inspiring, but they also show us that it's possible to succeed as a solo podcaster. It does take time, effort, and perseverance, but let me tell you, the rewards are so worth it. So what's the key takeaway of all of this? Starting a solo podcast in 2024 requires dedication, persistence, and let me tell you, hard work. I'm doing it myself and I can guarantee that it isn't easy. But if you're passionate about sharing your ideas and connecting with the people who are watching and listening, then it's more than worth it. Thank you all for watching and I would love to hear your thoughts on solo podcasting in the comments below. Let me know how you're getting on. And if you're interested in more podcasting tips and tricks, do be sure to subscribe for more content. Until next time, take care guys. Bye. Whoop.